my cup with some job love. Sit on down, let's talk it up. I know some laughing lattes, laughing lattes. Welcome to Life and Lattes with Liv and Cole. I'm Cole. And I'm Liv. Late, Late night! night. <laughs> Come on! That was, that was not a good start <laughs> to this. I'll take it, though. It's perfect for this. You know that. It is. Okay. I'm sure that everyone can tell by this point, we don't normally say that when we intro an episode. No. Late night. Late night! <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> this is going to be a special episode. We yes. wanted to start a little extra kind of line of episodes um, called Life and Lattes Late, Late Night. Night. And we are going to, instead of sampling local coffees and whatever, you know, lattes, cappuccino, sprappuccino, oh espresso, um, instead of doing something like that, <laughs> we are going to sample only the finest uh, liquors <laughs> of <laughs> the Indiana Kid the, Opera. The, the craft <laughs> breweries. Yeah. Well, I guess, I, figured, I guess we kind of are going to do some other things we'll too, other, some than, too. other than beer. Because now that's a thing. You yes. know, I mean, that was not not so long ago. It was, you know, craft beer was it. That was the thing. And now, yep. now we got everybody opening up distilleries I all know. over Indiana and they're making their own booze. True. Which is exciting. I know. Um, but yeah, so we got a we got a four pack variety of um, some special beers, uh, collaboration beers from Sun King. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to talk about those. We're going to try them. We're going to taste them. We have some other topics we're going to talk about. Um, yeah, we're just going to try to have fun with it. Yeah. Of course, we'll have guests on this as well, but we're going to run this one a little bit differently. And again, no coffee, beer, or whatever we decide at, on that at night. All. Ho- hopefully, no <laughs> boxed wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out on that. No. Bite your tongue. No. I'm sorry. No, we can't. no, no, no. I'm saying like we would no. Oh, we would we're never never do okay, that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm just God. making sure, okay. You can't come in here with your queen shirt on and <laughs> and be drinking that box wine. <laughs> come on, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay. So we're just gonna jump right into this and yep. just see how it goes. <laughs> so the first one. That we are sipping on, which is... Okay, so first, let me give you some context. Um, I'm sure if you follow us on social media, you saw that we went to the uh, 10th 10th anniversary of Sun King. Mm -hmm. Uh, Went to their College Avenue location, and that day, um, they released, I think it was actually five different beers. So you have Grapefruit Jungle, which is what they release every anniversary just for the year because it's a seasonal And then there were these four collaboration beers that they released as well. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of get those throughout the day. We started with my favorite. Um, This is the, let's see, the Highway. Uh, Oh, yeah, Highway Queen. It's perfect. Oh, my gosh, it's perfect. Um, Let's see. I was going to see who brewed and canned in Indianapolis. Oh, here we go. Cigar City Brewing. Cigar City Brewing is in Florida. Yeah, I was going to say, Tampa, Florida. Yep. Um, so this is a sour ale with raspberries, cherries, and Zinfandel grapes. I'm a huge fan of sours, and I really like this one. See, and that is that is funny. If you would have asked me, like, when I first started drinking beer, I did like sours because it kind of had, like, that obviously more fruitier taste. Right, right. Um, as my palate has changed, I'm not, like, wild about sours. Really? But I will say I do really like this one. It's a good, like, summer drink, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, that is the nice thing about it. Let's get a little, yeah, a little mm-hmm. taste here. It's not... the See, the thing is, too, is, like, some of the sours can be real really? heavy. Mm-hmm. And this, I'm not a big this heavy is a, fan. This is sweeter. This is yes. a sweeter sour. Yes. It's yes. not as, like... Which says a lot for a sour because it's it's still it still's got a lot of tart to it. Yeah, but it's not like make your face distort tart. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, but it's really it's. I mean, other than saying it's really good, I it, know you can definitely you're definitely getting a lot of the raspberry. Yeah, I don't know how much cherry and Zinfandel grape I'm I'm getting. I definitely chase chase. I definitely taste. <laughs> She's the had cherry. one sip, folks. Oh God, <laughs> SOS, send help. Um, <laughs> no, I can definitely taste the cherry. 
and the raspberry for sure. You get, uh, yeah, here, I'm going to take another sip. It's kind of, <laughs> sorry that you have to listen through our sips. Maybe I'll let you take a sip, you talk, and I'll we take a sip. We can do like a, uh, uh, what's that called? I don't know. <laughs> uh, like, you know, the, the, the videos that people do where they're like really up Cherry close to like the microphone and they're like making all those weird noises. What is, <laughs> oh, ASMR. You know what I'm talking about? You be like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. I would quit. <laughs> I'd quit right there. I'd be like, nope, nope, these people are messed up. Yeah. Just kidding. We're not going to do that. Um, what's that commercial? It's the organic beer. Uh, who's doing it? Have you seen it? She's organic like, beer. she's like, it's the taste of the mountain and, <laughs> and all of the purity. I know what you're and talking like, about. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, like this is the whole commercial. And so she just stares at you at the end and you're like, that doesn't make me want to buy a beer. Yeah, no. Um, I'm sorry. It's I don't. A beautiful I, shot. I, I know what you're what talking about, but um, somebody is somebody who's doing which, organic. Which oh, I think um, uh, Michelob Ultra. I think what? I think they're doing like Michelob is doing like an organic. Oh, 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 oh. Gotcha, I think that's gotcha. the one. Which I don't know. I mean, I'll take your word for it. That's all. Whatever. But I'll take your word for it. You poured us a lot, Liv. I'm gonna have to chug. I'm this sorry. To get to the next beer. I I got you a little bit more. You got than excited I did. with me. <laughs> Gosh! Here, why don't you? <laughs> why don't you? While I'm, up. while I'm working you, you, on this, talk about ju- the art. You drink some of that down. Um, it is. It is really cute. I um. I would say this is probably the same for you. That I am very susceptible to, like, um, good packaging. Oh yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Like if you can get the right design. If the packaging you got looks me. good, I'm like, okay. Yep. You know, if you put effort into the packaging, hopefully your product is good. <laughs> You know, it's it screwed <laughs> right. me a couple of times, um, but this one actually it is pretty cute. It's like a little. Um, For, if so, like pretend that there are people who are listening to this on their phones. <laughs> they might be using a podcast app or something along those lines. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and if they they can't see it now, I want to now describe it. I've okay. seen it, so okay. So uh, again, it's called Highway Queen, and okay. on the front of it is um like a little hawaiian girl in a little like what, she looks like a grass happy. skirt and she's like playing a little ukulele i would say it looks a little big for a ukulele i was gonna say it's like in between it's a like guitar and a ukulele a, if a guitar and a ukulele had a baby that's what she's playing <laughs> with a little some lays around her neck the can is like a burnt coral i would say yeah that's that's very accurate um and then lettering is all kind of a, an off white. Then mm-hmm, and then just kind of like some some fruit around the can. Yep. And it on the back of <laughs> on the back of all of these, they were their kind of main imagery for the tenth anniversary was ten four good buddy, and it says underneath of that all the you know the all four breweries mm-hmm. that they did collaborate with, and that's on the back. Yes. Of each can. Correct. And it says cheers to four years, which yeah. was their other thing. So, yeah, um, this that is, was cute. This is good. I like it. Yeah. Um, again, not my go to. Right. But this it's is good. All, this is all I had at good. the uh, at the event. It's true. Had you heard of Cigar City Brewing before this? Yes. Okay. Cigar City Brewery um, is pretty well known for one of their IPAs called High Lie. You've probably had it. Okay. Gotcha. I'm not a big um, IPA person, though. So, okay. I don't know. Yeah, I know a lot of people in my family dig that beer. Hmm. So, okay. They well, are hey. known for that. Okay. So, Highway Queen, go out, get you a four pack. This is really good. Uh, I'm sure it's only for a limited amount of time. Yeah. Uh, probably a limited quantity. Guaranteed I'm not even, that they have these at Sun King. But. I, yeah. Um, when I was at the liquor store, I didn't see these individually. I only saw these in the four pack. So okay. it's there's one of each of these beers we're about to talk about in a box together. Gotcha. Okay. So um good to know. But that's not necessarily the case for every place. Right. Yeah. But, I'm sure it changes. Yes. Uh well while we finish this one up and we get ready to go to the next one, um let's talk about uh the episode that you were not yes. here on. Um we did an episode with um my buddy Levi and my brother Cade, and that was while we, it was all dudes, and we did that while <laughs> Liv was on her anniversary trip. Yep. 
So we talked about dating. That was kind of the big thing. That was our big overall arching theme. Mm -hmm. And uh, wanted to make sure that Liv got to say a couple (laughs) things about that because... Had a girly Yeah, there was a lot of testosterone going that day. (laughs) Need to make sure that we even it out. There was nothing bad that was said. Okay, that's a good start. um, (laughs) There was was nothing nothing that I... Technically bad? (laughs) (laughs) Nothing that I wanted to call them out on? No. Um, No, it was good. I just... um, You could have used some... I know. A feminine touch on that episode. Okay, so we've already even kind of talked about this. Um... Let's maybe pretend that we're not talking about the horror stories of sliding into the DMs, but <laughs> let's let's talk about that a little bit. I know that a, we've hit on that multiple times in multiple episodes, and obviously that's something that our generation is going to continue to see because sometimes right. sometimes that's your only means of actually communicating with that person. Right. Um, if you don't have a phone number, it's a lot easier to just find somebody online. Oh, yeah, um, for sure. So maybe maybe elaborate that on that from the other side about having that communication, maybe what you would hope to have, let's, and, and, and not we know exactly what goes on that's not good. So yeah. let's talk about the things that could be good through that communication the, and how that would make you feel. We'll just say DM and general. Yeah, yeah okay. whether it's just social media, right? Yeah. So whether it's Facebook, Instagram, or whatever. Yeah, so... We'll exclude Snapchat. I'm sure nothing good happens there. Yeah, probably not. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, and it's different... It's different for me just because, you know, right. obviously I'm married, but, you know, Brad and I met each other in high school. Right. Right. Um, and, you know, honestly, people that I also dated were either, you know, through school or church. So people that I right. knew. So I never really had dated somebody through through the internet, I guess, right. you know? Let's just say hypothetically, but right? hypothetically. If somebody <laughs> sent you a message... You know, um, as a girl, yeah. you're like looking for, you know, I don't know. I mean, what, what's the right way to go about that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like if I, if, first if, off, let's just be blunt <laughs> and just like, you know, don't be a douche. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. They'll go straight for the. Yeah. I mean, have a little bit of some class, you that's know, a, that's obviously, a good word, class. Like, you know, like, let's just say that you have found someone you found a girl through Instagram on that like explore page. You find out she's in your city, maybe whatever. And you're like, she's really pretty. I'd like to like, I don't know, talk to her, whatever. Uh, I mean, I would suggest, you know, you, I mean, you can start out with a compliment of like, you're beautiful, but go that way. Go like, you're pretty, you're beautiful compliment. Like I noticed your smile or, your eyes or something like that and not like you're hot, you're sexy, your body is banging. Okay. Yeah. Right. That's, you got a nice butt. Yeah. <laughs> like that's a bad way to leave. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I would say maybe start with that and then maybe just like see where that goes. Right. First with a compliment. And that's funny that you say that because I, 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 again, I feel like if you st- that that for me as i'm thinking of like from the male perspective like coming straight in like i don't know you but i'm interested in knowing yeah. you but the first thing i lead off with is you're really pretty well, like you think that's that's acceptable i, I feel mean like that's i think still too much. i think you say like hi this is who i am i this is how i found you on instagram you know give a compliment and then just be like it's kind of hard cuz it's like well, i want to get to know you right you know so it kind of sounds weird But, um, I don't know, maybe even say just like not trying to be a weirdo creep, like the rest of the internet, you know what I mean? Um, gosh, that's so hard. Cause it's like, because from my point of view, I have gotten so many like creepy DMS before that I'm like, most girls have, you know, that I'm like, are you like, if I, even if I weren't married, which like is very evident on my socials. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, literally it's hard to forget. <laughs> yeah. Like it's in my bio. I have highlights about our wedding, our honeymoon, you know, us. And then obviously posting on my actual feed. Anyway, that's besides the point. <laughs> um, like, do you actually think you're going to get a girl with that wording, you know, of just yeah. like really just being a creep? Yeah. Yeah. 
you know, or like, it's also, I also say this too, of like, you know, I've been like walking into a store once and somebody in their car whistles or says something, Ooh. you know, like says something at you. And I'm like, D- like, what do you think is going to come of that? Right. Like, you think I'm going to turn around and be like, oh, oh my yeah, God, here's my phone number. <laughs> no. Um, so, I mean, I think starting out maybe with that initial, hey, I'm interested in you kind of thing. And sometimes that may work. Sometimes it won't. Right. Um, take it, take it slow. Yes. Right? Slower the better. Yes. Yeah. And just try to like have some back and forth. Right. And just like, yeah, at least try to get some. Yeah. Talking. Because I think like, you know, there's obviously some not, there's some pros and cons to having the access we do. Right. You know, to the internet and social media and all of that. Um, but it doesn't have to necessarily be used in a poor way. You know, even though it kind of has that stigma of sliding into your DMs, you know, like, Mm -hmm. you you know, you can use the internet and social media to your advantage, but like, don't be weird about it, you know, Um, and then, you you know, like, and like right away when someone sends that message, you know, like the person that you sent that message to is about to go and look at your Instagram. Oh, for sure. You know, and like. Your Instagram better be ready to be looked at. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And, and even if like you were to approach a person in public, you know, like that, either way, your first initial reaction is if you're attracted to that person. Right. Right. Oh yeah. And so it's all, it's all what you see first. It is. And you, I don't care what anyone says. It starts there. Yeah. You can't be like, oh, I don't know, personality was the first thing. Well, that yeah. was not the first thing that you noticed. Yeah. And I don't Nothing think like, that, yeah, I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think we were created to have our own, I don't know, attractions, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Your own type. <laughs> um, yeah. And so, yeah, I think that's the first thing. And so here's the other thing to it is, you know, that a girl is going to go and look at your Instagram after you've messaged her. Mm-hmm. And if you, from my point of view at least, and decent girls, if you're posting mirror selfies of you shirtless or you're out partying like a drunk fool, not attractive. Again, to yeah. me or, you know. Don't look at my Instagram. Semi- <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's all shirtless selfies, okay? <laughs> it is not. <laughs> not even close. I would I wouldn't even let you do that, and I'm not even with you in that way. <laughs> <laughs> right? You'd be like, like um, stop no. it. <laughs> Delete it. Quit it. I don't think Audrey would appreciate that either. Mm-mm. She probably wouldn't have talked to me after she looked at my Instagram. Yeah, see? <laughs> Guaranteed you like, she looked mm. at mine like right after we started talking. Did you go through my Instagram? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. I went through yours too. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Although so, business, I, I guess maybe I went to Facebook first. Is that bad? No. Does that, that make me old? I, no, I think. Um, <laughs> I'm a longer to write, but young lady. <laughs> young lady. <laughs> sounds so weird. <laughs> um, but that's so, so weird. Like we do. We just like go on first. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to search through all your stuff and like see what you've been up to. Mm-hmm. Yep. True. It's the truth though. I mean, I'm sure if like. Sure, if all my stuff was just like partying all the time, you know, she'd probably be like, eh. Yeah. Or you also see like how recently were they with a girl, you know, like dating oh, yeah. somebody. Yep. You know, I know that like girls look for that and also looked at their tagged photos. Ooh, that's a good call. I didn't yeah. even think about that. Because, Dang. you know, obviously your Instagram feed are the photos that you want the world to see as your highlight reel. Yeah, yeah right. You know? Um, so, yeah, it's, I definitely look at, ta- I look at tagged photos, too, so I can see smart. what you're doing behind the scenes. Very smart. Yeah. <laughs> Very smart. I'm learning things. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not saying to, like, don't be you on social media, but if you're going to message a girl on Instagram, you just better be ready for her to look at your stuff yeah. and see if you look like a worthy enough guy. Yeah. Just well, it all depends on gonna be you know, what you're trying to attract because I'm just saying like, obviously some people have their own ways of living and their mm-hmm. own ideas of that yep. and that's fine. But it's like, okay, so if you're a dude that's partying all the time, and you're drinking all the time and you're doing all these things and like it that's all that you see and maybe there's all these pictures with you with your arms around all these other girls like there's only 
really one type that you can really talk to and get any sort of like yeah. positive feedback on. And, you know, like if we're being honest, it's probably the girl that you are attracting with having that type of Instagram yep. probably isn't looking for long term a relationship. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> let's just, right. Let's call, just be let's honest. Just, let's just call a spade a spade. And um, that's fine to each his own, <laughs> but you're not going to get lit. <laughs> <laughs> nope. For a variety of reasons. Yeah. All right. First of all, take it. <laughs> what? First of all, first of all, her. married. Um, she married, she married up. Okay. We're gonna Next we're beer. gonna move on to the second the second beer here. I gave us enough time to finish on this. I know. I'm pouring this one this time. Okay, you had a heavy. I, hand. I got I got a little crazy. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, you know I'm gonna pour this one, then we'll talk about it. How about that? Okay, that'll work. Although this, I'll, I will go ahead. I was reading the front of it. This one is called Happiness Jones, and Ooh. <laughs> ow, ow, and <laughs> brum, brum, brum. <laughs> <laughs> dang it, I got it shut off. <laughs> um. The label is super retro. It is. Which I dig. So, like, like 70s, 70s right? 70s vibe. Yes. Which, like, I have always said that if there were ever, like, a time frame that I would have wanted to live in because of fashion, let me say, um, 70s. Uh, this is Ryan Geist. I love Ryan Geist. Yep. Mm hmm. As do I. I am not, like, entirely familiar with everything they have. So they're in. In Cincinnati, correct. correct? Yep. Um, but they do have like some rosé, like bubbly drinks yeah. that are <laughs> yummy. It's called Bubbles. Okay, yeah. Uh, and that's their, yeah, Bubbles, and it's their rosé and like apple cider kind of thing that they gotcha. do. It's, it, we like that one a lot. Okay, so this one, he said, is Hoppiness Jones. It's a Indiana Pale Ale. I said Indiana. <laughs> It's not Indiana. India. <laughs> India Pale Ale. Um, and it says it's aged in Pinot Noir and tequila barrels Ooh, with hibiscus. I can't believe I didn't try this one there. That's um, awesome. Yeah. So it it's a Sun King collaboration with Rheingeist. Is that how you say it? Yep. yep. Rheingeist. This one's my favorite packaging of the four. Yeah. I love the retro look. Yeah. It's just, I mean, that's really all you can really say it's just it's a it's very retro. like 70s retro <laughs> look to it their designs are killer i don't know who did all these you know and if they collabed on the design itself or kind of how, how that went about but i like that and i'm not a huge ipa person i i'm sure i don't know wow. if does it give you the uh you know the information on the back like what we're talking about like ibu and oh um, did we talk about that with the last one? Uh, we did not. <laughs> I was just interested I don't think it, because... I don't think it does on here. Okay. It might, like, on the actual box. I wonder if you can look it up, though. Now that, we, now that we have Wi-Fi. Right. We're, we're just in the future here so with fancy. internet. And, I know. You know. Internets. Internets. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. It's it's not my favorite, I'll be honest with you. I think the last one had a lot more flavor. Um, and maybe maybe we're... Please don't come at us like maybe we're doing this all wrong and we're going back to back and and there is probably other ways to go about this and I'm sure there's more notes that oh, we can I'm go sh- off. Oh, of. I'm sure. I think I, you know, and I think that's also the case too. Whenever we try coffee, oh, I'm sure. You know, like people who like really know coffee are probably like you dumb idiots. Right. I was gonna say you guys are dumb. Um, <laughs> but you know, we're we're getting there. We're expanding our our palates learning more right exactly um let's see i'm gonna so you know don't at us all right please don't okay we're we're trying here (laughs) i'm gonna see if i can find it real fast and see if they have cool navigate the website here um who built this thing (laughs) (laughs) didn't you yes (laughs) (laughs) you built this one right and that was you yeah thank you very much yeah full disclosure built the sun king website so so cool me and a friend a friend and I, I should say. I want to make sure I say that right. Thank you for grammar. Dang, I would have thought that they would have added it on here. That's okay, though. Sun King Reserve. Um, but yeah, the, I, again, I don't think this one finishes with as much flavor, and maybe that's because we went back to back. That's I, I don't know, but um, in general, well, obviously though, it's IBU's a- got to be low on this one because it is not as hoppy as I would expect an IPA to be. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, that also... 
you know, have to keep in mind, obviously, there are two different styles of beer. You know, you just went from oh, a sour sure. to an IPA. For sure, for sure. And you're definitely going to get a lot more, like, I guess, like, fruity type flavoring in a sour than you would with an IPA because IPAs are hoppy. Right, right, right. (laughs) (laughs) We have someone knocking at the studio door. Uh, Let's see. I'm trying to pull up the beers right now. I figured they would put them online somewhere, but I'm actually having like the worst time finding them. That's so weird. Maybe if I do it like one at a time here, you know me. I don't know how to use any of this stuff. So, <laughs> what? Oh yeah, Ho- hoppiness. Hoppiness Jones. 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 That could be somebody's name. Hoppiness Jones. Is it? Ho- is it hoppiness? It says happiness on here. It's, a, it's definitely hop. Okay, I'm it's like, a play on words. Oh, I know, but I'm like the funny thing is, is just so everybody knows. If you look it up, it shows on here that it is a. Uh, Happiness. On, Somebody put it wrong. Tap, tap hunter. hunter. We're going to at you. You so misspelled. That, right. So this is a <laughs> double IPA, 8% ABV, and 78 IBU. That's a pretty low IBU for an IPA, I think. I'm going to take your word for it because, honestly, I have no idea about IPAs because okay. I rarely drink them. Have you ever had an Osiris? Uh, it's, it's one of their core. Uh, maybe. Oh, I'm wrong. The Osiris is 50, so... <laughs> Again, don't listen to me. What do I know? Obviously, it's higher, <laughs> but it's it's but it's very it's very drinkable. I was if, gonna if say you're, drinkable. If you're, if you're not a big IPA fan, this this is a good like intro. In. Yeah. Yep. That took us a minute to get through that. I know, but that's pa- okay. Apologize. That's okay. But now you know the facts and the um, facts it is of a, life. It is a double IPA, and we should have talked about that because like obviously it's an eight percent. So, and it comes in sixteen ounce can. So be careful. <laughs> when you get when you get to that level, when you get to the eight percent, and or even just if you go above like six percent, I feel like it starts to ramp up. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like drinking a domestic water. Well, don't get me started <laughs> on that. You know, that's a that's a whole other thing that we could get into. Yes. What's your, if you, I don't know if we've talked about this. But like, if you have to pick a domestic, what would you pick? Let's let's talk about like the core. Like, okay. You got Budweiser, Bud Light, Miller Light, and what Coors Light? Like the main um, four. So I, I don't, does this count? Cause it's sort of, I don't know. I think I know what you're going to say, but I don't know if it counts. What, what do you think I'm going to say? Like a Bud Light Lime. Yeah, actually I do like Bud Light Limes, Bud Light Orange, but I think that Corona's are considered domestic, right? Mm, yeah. I guess. I do like Corona's throw a little lime in there. Yeah. I like that too. Yep. I'm a Corona person. Yeah. Um, they go down easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even have to have the lime, to be honest with you. And I know some people say they're like, oh, Corona tastes horrible. And I'm like, I don't know if it's that bad, to be honest with you. Like, I think I it's like good it. even without the lime. Yeah. But the I'm lime in it is... Icing on the cake. Mm-hmm. The cherry on top. The cherry on top. Yep. <laughs> Woo. All right. Uh, while we finish this one up, um, what else? I'm trying to think. So with the whole dating thing, mm-hmm. um, let me see. What else did we touch on? Okay, here. So if you, uh, other than the whole DM thing, I know we keep touching on that, so I think we've kind of, you know, beat that to death. So now everybody understands how that works. Um, what would, if you have what questions. Would, yes, of course. Feel free to, to de- slide into our DMs and ask <laughs> us. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, you know, like even if it's just what our opinion might be or advice for that. Yep, yep. Go for it. Okay, what were you going to say? I don't know. Oh, man. I know. We're too too into it already, and it's like, I don't even know. <laughs> That's okay, though. Um, no, what I was going to say is if you had some advice to give, we gave advice at the end. If you have advice to give, you know, I know Kate and Levi are single and all that kind of stuff, and, and you're not, but if you had to give some advice to those dudes out there, maybe thinking about sliding in the DMs or something like that. You don't have to. You don't have to yeah. do that again. But I'm just saying, in general, whether, yeah. whether you're going out to meet people, sure. or whatever along yeah. those lines. I mean, but I think other than don't be a douchebag, right? I think that goes without. I saying. think first off, you know, have a little class, be respectful for crying out loud. Okay. Yeah. Like. Yep. Yep. You know, I. You know, I'm sorry. I'm not a feminist, so like, I'm okay with the guy opening doors and. 
um, paying for the meal. Mm-hmm. Like, I just think that that is Nothing wrong with chivalrous. That. Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta make it work a little bit. Yeah. Which you I'm fine. You know, I'm like, it shows, you know, I don't, and I don't even, I don't even want to put it in the category of, you know, trying not to be feminist and all this sort of stuff. Like, you know, it's really one of those things where I think it just shows that you can be respectful, mm-hmm. that you are trying. Yeah. Uh, no matter what, it's just putting effort into something. And I and I think that that's a good opportunity yeah. to do it. Right. And then the other thing I would say is whether it is, you know, your first interaction is through social media or in person, you know, like actually talk to the person and like get to know them and ask them questions about their life. Yep. You know, and yep. like really try to get to know their personality. Cause at the end of the day, you know, looks fade, you know, and so mm-hmm. you're really marrying that or dating, I guess, dating to marry. Right. 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 Um, someone's heart and their personality, mm-hmm. you know, cause someday you're going to be old and wrinkly <laughs> and you're not going to have those well perky said. boobs anymore. So, <laughs> yeah. bye bye. Yep. <laughs> she gone. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> she gone. <laughs> Um, Good, I like it. So that like that's it. my, I mean, that's, that's take mine. on it. Yeah, that's funny. When was I? I, I you kind of now you like sparked my interest. Um, how old were you when you had your first boyfriend? And I'm taking, I'm talking about like real life, not you know, oh, it's middle school, we're yeah. holding hands, you know, like just your first boyfriend. <laughs> how old were you? First boyfriend, I was a freshman in high school, so okay. like 15, yeah, 15 almost 15, 16. Yeah. Yep, yep. You know what? I had just turned, yeah, I just turned 15. Okay. Yeah. That sounds right. Yep. 15. Good times, what was man. His name? So, Come no, on. no. Come on. No. no. I can't. Okay. I can't. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Whatever. Come on. Call him out. You're married now. It's all good. <laughs> My gosh. Um, Look at you. <laughs> It's so so awkward right so, now. <laughs> so it's it's not usually easy to make live not talk, but I think I'm winning that battle. Yeah, right I now. think so. Um, okay, fine. <laughs> first boyfriend. I feel weird calling them out. Um, first boyfriend. I'll say Anthony. Okay, Anthony. You know who you are, man. We're calling you out. <laughs> um, okay, so how did it's, it end? It's actually. <laughs> Well, so it's actually really funny because that was the boyfriend I was talking about in the previous episode that was supposed to go to the football game with us. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Dang it, Anthony, you're supposed to go to the Dolphins game is yeah. what you would call it. Colts <laughs> game as I would call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we were just, we were young. Right. Um, I, I honestly don't have any hard feelings. Towards That's him. okay. Yeah, I'm, not, like, I'm not trying to like dig up yeah. some like <laughs> bad past stuff. I was just curious, of course, yeah. and I'm sure everybody else is. So. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, we were in school together. Yeah, I kind of. So figured. yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, it's different when people are homeschooled. <laughs> yeah. Homeschooled. Yeah. Homeschooled <laughs> freaks. Um, Whoa. I was saying, you know, it's fine. I married one. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Don't um, hate. I'm not hating. Uh, but yeah, so. Mm-hmm. So funny. funny. So I got really awkward there for Anthony. a second. Anthony. What's Anthony up to? You, you see it, You see him on social media or anything? <laughs> He's like, married. He's married. Okay. He Good for you, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Proud of you, bud. You, you moved on. You went on. You found somebody. You know, you got over the oh lid. Like, gosh. you're good to go. <laughs> Thumbs up, Anthony. <laughs> not he's not over me what no maybe kidding. he's not I, who knows right <laughs> i'm just totally i'm totally kidding <laughs> I would totally so. kidding <laughs> are you ready for the next yeah, one we should move on okay oh you're wait like, you mean the next beer yeah you're yeah. like oh yeah that too <laughs> you're like, if you bring him up one more time <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, Anthony. that name though that name it, it would be weird I, I know I'm going to go off a tangent here but like you're like 15 and your name's anthony that's like your name being well, like mark uh, like I'm like thinking he, of like he the definitely adult didn't names. go by that. What did he go by? What do you think? I I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Tony. I'm sorry, Tony. There we go. I couldn't think of what it was. Those are stupid. <laughs> Those I'm just are saying, stupid. like, it's just like my first <laughs> name is is Robert. It's my legitimate legal fir- first name is Robert, and so obviously it's like, where do you get Bob out of Robert? 
Who decided that? Who was like, hey, you guess what, Robert? We're going to okay. shorten it. Bob. Yeah, but. What's wrong with Rob? That makes more sense because it's shortening. It's literally shortening the name. Sure. It's the same with Liv. I know. That's what I'm saying. But yeah. like, why is the short for Richard Dick? Like, I don't why know. Is or that? like James, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who did Who that? Did that? <laughs> we're Who calling did that? you out. Yeah, now we're calling you out. We're, we're <laughs> off of Anthony, Tony, and we're calling, <laughs> we're calling the next Friday, one. Out. Okay. Um, um, man, I feel like I'm going to. How do you say that? I feel like I'm going to butcher oh, that. Oh, no. I don't know how you say that. Uh, I'm glad you're oh, doing is this it one. Collaborge. Ooh. That would make sense. That makes sense. So have you so Austin, Austin Beer Works? Have you heard of them? I see that's the only one that I've not heard of. Okay. In, in this um, collaboration pack. Interesting. I wonder if it, it. So unfortunately, it doesn't say on here. That's so it's an India Pale Ale Imperial Brute. Um, here. Give me pour. You, yeah, why don't you? I'll pour check you. Check that out real you, quick. And you let look me, into it. Yeah, we're gonna look up uh, Austin Beer Works. Do you think it's? Do you think it's Texas? Oh, it's got to be. But I just want to make sure. I mean, we could be sitting here going, ah. yep, Austin, Texas. Okay, we're good. We also could be saying the name. Okay, <laughs> we're good. We, we, we're, we're good. I, I, I think it's for sure Collaborage. Okay, so this one is, um, this one is 8.3% on the APV and 84 on the IBU. So this should be very similar to the last one um, in bitterness. Um, let's see. You know, if I'm being honest... Yeah. This is the lamest packaging. You know what's funny is the first thing I think of is... Um, Heineken. Heineken. So do I. Yeah. And that's kind of a cop out. Yeah. It really is. Because like the first two cans have great designs. Yeah. And this and one... Sure like I, I'm okay if you want to do like a more simple look. Right. But this is Because they all... It's all lame. the different ones exist out there. And so I love looking at can art. Do you? <laughs> Um, you know, what's, it's funny is, um, I actually follow a page that, um, posts people's artwork on Starbucks cups. Oh yeah. Have you yeah, seen yeah. those before? Yeah. Those are cool. And those are really cool. Cause you're playing, you're, you're playing off the logo. Right. So, um, I do like, I do like that. See, look at this though. It's definitely their, their oh, thing. So their vibe is like very simple. Yeah, it's very, but look at this one. I love that one. Oh, see that one's cool. That one's super cool. Um, okay, so okay. oh, and this one too. Look, look at yeah. the other one. So uh, for everybody listening that can't see, um, and you're not gonna be able to see on the camera either, uh, look up Austin Beer Works and just maybe check out their artwork. Um, you can kind of tell because I'm sure if you're looking up these beers, you can kind of see that this is kind of more of their design language. Although they have some seasonals here um, that have a really cool design. Uh, it's very clean and very modern. I like that. Mm -hmm. They look like they have some good stuff though. Yeah, that's awesome. So, what's the um, kind of description of this beer? Because it's not—it's not actually on the can. Yeah, unfortunately, let's see. Unfortunately, on Tap Hunter, a lot of these are new. Um, so, and I and I wasn't able to find them on the website. So, I'm not seeing anything that's actually showing uh, kind of the tasting notes as I would call them. Gotcha. Um, unfortunately. So did you okay. take a, did you, did you take a look? Yeah, I, I, I looked on the can and it's not there. No, I mean like uh, how was your, did you taste it? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know, did you <laughs> taste it? What's have your, you? I have, I have. This one, mm -hmm. there's something odd right there in the middle. It doesn't finish it. Uh, here we go. Uh, let's see. Collaborge is an imperial brute IPA with a full, I don't even know that word, man managerie, menagerie. <laughs> 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 this is horrible. We're going to get called out so bad. A hop flavor and dry finish. The beer is part of our 10th anniversary collaboration, blah, blah, blah. I think this one's definitely more hoppy than the last. Oh, here you go. Look the, at this. Somebody, somebody left quite a nice, okay. Taste is surprising and light with a bitter lemon peel flavor front and center. The sweet booziness of the nose shows itself enough to balance the bitterness. Uh, nice old school IPA flavor. Uh, I can see that. And it, it also says the booze is well hidden in this one, which I can agree with. Because, you know, sometimes, mm -hmm. especially with something of this high level, you know, it's an 8.3. This is probably the most potent one we've had today. Yeah. And it's not something that's killing me. Mm-hmm. 
I like it though. Yeah. I mean, it's a bit. I'm not a big IPA guy. Just disclaimer here. I know we've talked about this already, but yeah, it's not my same. not my thing. So this is this is again like if I had I'm, to go in order, like I'd say the sour and then the hoppy hoppiness. Jones. Jones, and then this one would probably be like one, two, three in that in that order. All right. Ranked. Okay. 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 Um, but I like that. I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm liking this one better. Really. I don't know what it is though. If I, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what it is. I think that this one is maybe not as heavy as the Hoppiness Jones. This one seems like maybe it's a little bit more lighter, just mouthfeel wise. Like, you know what I mean? Like I don't feel as like, this would be something that I could actually probably drink on an 80, 90 degree day. And like, it would <laughs> like kill today, me. like today. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's good though. I, I, it's hard too, because obviously like for you the sour one you really enjoy but you also like really enjoy sours so you like know the differences between sours that's true you know so with us with like ipas not being like our fave right it's hard for us to be like you know to compare it to something else right but it's so funny because this i know like looking it up i know that like the ibu you know the hoppiness of it sorry um, is I, know, I don't want to burp right in the microphone. Um, it doesn't seem as harsh, surprisingly enough, as like maybe the Osiris or something along those lines, like or even um, like an Upland, like a Dragonfly IPA. And I'm guessing that their IBU is lower, but these just finish, I think, a lot less hoppy than yeah. it does. It's not mm-hmm. as harsh. Like it's got a very smooth. It's not way as coming bitter. In. Yeah, it's not as bitter for sure. Yep. It's a little bit more drinkable for me again because yep. I'm not looking for the hoppiness. That's just not that's not my thing. I like the lighter stuff, but I've gone a little bit more towards the hoppiness just just because it does add a nice flavor to it. Like it's not just kind of like beer water. Yeah, is the best way to explain yeah. it. Yeah. No, I'm definitely. I I feel like I'm growing to like IPAs. I think that just I think it's one of those things that definitely like just it comes with age. Yeah, it's like an it's an acquired taste. Right. You start off and you're just like, oh, I love Budweiser. Well, it's <laughs> the first that I liked were more like shandies, mm-hmm. you know, and more of like yep, something fruity, the and, fruity type yeah. ales. Which I can still get behind that, to be honest with you. <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but that's kind of how I started. That's kind of what I like. Yeah. Still on the mule train, though. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> can't can't stay away. Margs, though. Okay, the only thing about Margs is like lately, like they just don't make me feel good. Aww. It's a lot of sugar and it's very tart, and it's just one of those oh, things where at the so... end of the day, I had <laughs> you kill me. What? <laughs> Nothing. You're just like, oh my gosh, I it's had... so oh 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 I... <laughs> oh man, oh my gosh. I had the best margarita that I think I've ever had the other day. Tell me where it was. So it's funny because we've been to this restaurant before. Ooh. Um, it is at a Mexican restaurant, El Maison. El, I don't know how you... I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know which one's which. So you gotta it, tell me where it I is. will. Um, it's off County Line and Emerson. County Line, like and Emerson. across okay. from the Kroger that's in that strip there with like Brozini's. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. That like furniture store. Yeah, I've been there once. We've been there before. Yeah. Oh my god! I haven't had a margarita from there. I, know I, that. I haven't either until a couple days ago, and it was so good. And it wasn't like just a mix that's put into like ice. Yeah, which w- normally which, was like, what it tastes like. Honestly, I don't, I don't dislike that. Like, what is it, Cuervo or whatever? Um, yeah, Jose Cuervo. Yes, thank you, yeah. Jose. I almost said Juan. I'm racist. Juan I'm not. Carlos. I'm not. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> right? Oh, God. I swear that I'm not. Anyway. Um, She's horrible. I, I enjoy those, like, from the store and just, like, putting that over ice. Like, I can, like, I'm game with that. But, like, there have been some where it's, like, it's, like, way too sweet. Yes. Or there's, like, <sighs> I, I don't know. It's, like, not right. But this one was, like, it was perfectly, it was well-rounded. It was a good mark. That's anyway. good. Hey, no. <laughs> Now you guys know. Now you know. County Line Emerson. Yep. Get your marg on. Get your margs on. Uh, so one of the things that I wanted, to, that I was thinking about, I, I thought we could talk about today. Okay. Was maybe we could give them a little more information on our relationship. Okay. Um, just because I know we've kind of talked about that. I think we talked about things. it in like the very first episode. But that was it. 
And I think that's it. It kind of ended there. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm, sub, you know, I'm subject, subjected to sitting with you every week. Wow. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm He's kidding. throwing shade, everyone. Which you do a I lot. I was going to say, which I think everybody knows. I even posted a photo of like, oh. yeah, you like throwing me shade. Just through sure. my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what you said, but <laughs> it doesn't was, matter. It was You're like, I know you were it was shady. Shade. Yep. I'm sorry. It's all right. Uh, I, I throw it back sometimes. <laughs> I guess you do. <laughs> um, okay. So the one thing I wanted to ask you, I figured, you know, we'll be tasting these. Maybe, maybe you'll just be a little bit more honest with me. So oh boy. when we, when we first started hanging out, like mm-hmm. you got to give me like, you know, first how, impressions. Yeah, first impressions. There you go. Because I'm like, I know your profile. I mean, you everybody's profiling right off the bat, right? Sure. So yeah. Um. Oh gosh, it's been it's been a little while. It's like, been at what, least two years. Three years. Yeah, at least two or three years. Yeah. <sighs> I know, right? I don't even coming at you. With I'm the trying. Good I'm trying today. to think. So obviously, for those of you who don't know, Cole and I met through. Um, like young adults, small group of the church we went to. Yes. Um, but he and Brad met first and then he was like, Brad was like, Hey, this guy's cool. And I was like, <laughs> You're like I'll I don't be know. the judge of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I honestly don't think I had any like negative first impressions, which I think you're probably looking for. That's okay um, though. If you don't, I'm okay with that. Like I'm not, I might be like searching for that, but it's okay if you don't. I'll, I'll be happy. No, to I think today. like our like <laughs> all three like the three of us, and then like we obviously hung out with Kate as well. So the four of us like are right. We just we kind of like vibed. Yeah, you I know, felt like, that way. like yeah. um, we just we had similar interests and in things, similar humor, um, and I think we just kind of like clicked as a friend group, I guess, in some, in our small group. I thought so. Um, but right off the bat, for sure. I mean. You're bougie, which I think I literally mention in every episode. <laughs> I think so. He too. just like he has um, expensive taste. I was actually thinking about it today and because you make me think about it. It's like in the back of my head because, <laughs> because you mention it so often now. Now I think twice. I'm like, Am I? you know what? It's fine. It's your way of life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing better. I'm. There are certain things now where I try to curtail myself because, you know, there's, there's, I am by no means a rich man, not even close to such a thing. Rich in friendship and love, but <laughs> not so much in, in the other department, which is okay. I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. Um, so I try to now maybe allocate only certain amount of funds for things like that yeah don't get me wrong one of literally one of the things i've been thinking about is like i need to go back to chicago so i can go back to the ug store because i'm due for some new ones um and those are the things i think about on a daily basis <laughs> <laughs> i'm like you know what i, I need another pair of uggs nothing haunts uh, you like the uggs you didn't buy i know right see <laughs> she gets it uh, i've never owned any pair of uggs but see it was let's just let's Let's, I'll give you some background on this while we're talking about it. That way, everybody okay. kind of knows. Like this was this was an, uh, started early in my life by my dad. Yeah, I, I I the earliest memory I have of a situation like this was I had been saving up some money and I was uh, mowing yards and I really wanted to buy a PDA. Yes. <laughs> You and, did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. It was made by HP. Yep. I had it picked out. I knew how much it was going to cost. And I had fantastic. made a little bit more. And I was so excited. Like, you know, it had Wi-Fi and I could get on and get on the internet. It ran Windows Mobile. I was so pumped. Who you? So, <laughs> you know, I'm like, Dad, I got the money. Yeah. Let's go to the store. I'm ready to buy it. I mean, you know, I, I think we all have similar memories like that. I just, all my stuff was very technical. Mm-hmm. Well, we get there. And I'm like, this is what I want. I'm so excited. Like, look at this. And he's like, why would you not spend the extra money on the one above? And I'm like, well, I, I don't know. You know, I'm like, but this is the one I've been saving up for. And he's like, just, he's like, you got to go with the next one. He's like, look at the specs. You know, it's got better this, blah, blah, blah. You have the money. Go for it. And it was like that moment that I kind of realized, you know, I mean, number one, I, I am a firm <laughs> believer in you get what you pay for. 
yeah. know that sometimes there are deals, but those are still things that were normally priced at a certain amount that maybe sure. have been dropped down. Um, and I know it's, again, I know it's not always the case, but most of the time I majority, I found that's sure. That's sometimes how it works. Um, and, and that's when his bougie began. And that's when it began. So, you know, it kind of started from there and I'm like, well, you know, you know, let's, it's not always been one of those things where I was able to go, Oh, we're going to go all out and I'm going to go to the, to the top of the line. Right. But you at least try to get close. There you go. I wanted to give you a second. <laughs> I just want to make sure everybody heard that. Which I'm okay. We'll get that in a second. But that's kind of where it started. So now everybody knows, like that's where it started, and then it kind of went from there. And again, like I don't ever live outside my means. I always try to be careful yeah. about what's going on and be mindful. And I save a lot and I pay attention. I have spreadsheets after spreadsheet, and I know Brad's the same way, yes. so you get it. Uh, and that's that's the best way to be able to pay attention to what you're doing. He's a um, freak in the spreadsheets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that needs to be like a meme or something. Like. <laughs> oh, that was good. Uh, but yeah, so played. so you can say that I'm bougie to a certain degree. There are a lot of other people I think that are way more, and that oh. I, and I'm only that way about certain things. He just has expensive taste. Yeah, I was I don't think shocked to hear that she went to McDonald's. Shocked, sober. <laughs> See, I start hanging out with you guys. I know. And I start buying McDonald's. <laughs> like you're, you're pulling We're me bad down. influences. Oh gosh. All right. I know you just drink the, the rest of one. that. I'm one. Sorry, I'm taking just a second because again, I'm not an IPA guy. Um, what have you taken a sip yet? I haven't yet. I'll wait. I'll wait for oh, you. Okay. Well, um, let's talk about it before we yeah. get into that. Um, so this one is. Um, this is the last one, obviously, if you're counting and you know math, we're on the fourth one. If you could do math. <laughs> this is the collaboration with Three Floyds, which is... It's in Munster, Indiana. Yeah. Okay. This is the only one that's also in Indiana. Yeah. And it's pretty much on the border of Chicago. So, I mean, of Illinois. Okay. Right? Uh, I Honestly, I don't remember which one where it's at, if I'm being honest with you. Um, this one's I called Maximum overdrive and it's a baltic porter listen y'all i love stouts and porters they are my favorite mm, they are my favorite i'm not excited about this you're not it, it's below ipa on my <gasps> list but i apologize but oh i'm not a dark gosh. beer fan it, but maybe they are, maybe this will convert me i don't know because i'm a i love three floyds and i'm sure the first thing when i say three floyds what's the first thing you think about zombie dust thank you okay um, which I know is is a lot less exclusive now, but it used to be. It used to be very ridiculously difficult. exclusive. Like people would line up outside of stores that had them there, um, and they only had like a limited amount. I, and you and there was a limited amount per customer that could buy it. I talked to many a liquor store owner that said, because you know you go in, you're like, hey, do you have any zombie dust? Right. These people get the numbers of the people who drive the truck so that they can call them and they'll go, hey, you got zombie, du- zombie dust on the truck? And then they go and they what? find it. And they're like, oh, yeah, they're calling the people who are driving That's the trucks. That's crazy. I thought that was nuts. I'm like, like it's it, good, it, but like, but like, is it worth Do we need that? to call the <laughs> truck the drivers <laughs> to track them down that's a lot yeah it's a it's a little excessive here what's okay. what's this one called um maximum overdrive Ooh, i like that i do too maximum overdrive thank you for that <laughs> i got you <laughs> what are we drinking today oh the maximum overdrive <laughs> okay I'm okay gonna, so I'm this one's seven percent maximum overdrive is a baltic porter made with an international mix of hops malts and yeast the beer mm. is part of our 10th anniversary collaboration and the same guy. Uh, let's see. Smell is unexpectedly light and earthy with a nice and nutty sweetness. Very pleasant and approachable. Taste has a high, or has a nice <laughs> this beer holiday spice This beer is character. easily a- approachable. You know, sometimes beer. You're not going to scare very, it. They're very scary to approach. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> um, I dig it. It's not bad. Um, it's you, actually. You're not here for it, huh? Uh, let's see, light and crisp, super smooth and exceptionally drinkable. That sounds about right. A uh, really well-balanced flavor that is complex yet easy and almost demands another sip. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. But it is, this is Bless probably up. the lightest porter I've ever tried. It It is very, it is very light. And I like, that's what I like about stouts and porters is they are typically like very smooth to they're, drink. They're very smooth. But my problem with the usual stouts and porters is that the flavor is so heavy. I, I will give you that. They're very heavy. They are they are very heavy. So like I it's like I could I could not sit out of the pool and drink one of these. Ooh. You know, like no, you're, you're just, just go, oh. Yeah, you're just like boop, boop, like you just like want to throw up. <laughs> um and it's not cuz of not and, and not cuz of the taste. Simply at least to me, not because of the taste, simply just cuz they are a very like heavier beer. Yeah, it's just a heavy beer. Again, like if I had to compare it to like a soup, it would be like a like a stew, you yeah, know, like a chowder. like they're thick, <laughs> like a She's thick, thick stew, with two thicker C's. than a snicker. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, T Pain. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. That's great. Well, honestly, like we've gone through all the beers, we've we've I think we've touched on everything we wanted to talk about today. We really just wanted to intro the new concept yes. see how you guys felt about it uh again would love the feedback you guys are great with with that um and we definitely appreciate it um yeah again if you want to be on an episode please send us a message um we are uh scheduling out mm-hmm. um but there's nothing wrong with that we need some more people um coming up towards uh you know further out of the summer yep um and uh i think our plan is to do maybe one of these a month to start with um, and it'll be in line. We'll, we'll kind of do this outside of the regular episode schedule. Mm-hmm. Um, so with that said, give that some thought. Tell us how you feel about the episode. Uh, we always appreciate you listening. If you have yeah. any more questions about the beers or um, just about what the things we talked about in the episode, please hit us up. Um, or if you have suggestions. Oh, we love suggestions. We do. The first couple episodes, I think we're going to do more so like local to Indiana. Yes. Um, but craft breweries or craft, um, I don't know what what other word. Spirits. Uh, okay. Spirits. Yeah. Spirits. <laughs> yeah. That's the best way to put it. Um, you know, will be like our menu. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Our I don't menu. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so with that being said, uh, Liv, if we've gotten everything out today, um, so. we appreciate you guys listening as always, and uh, we hope that you welcome our late night segment with <laughs> open arms. <laughs> crack open a beer. Yeah. Drink, crack, drink with us. Crack you open a cold one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening. We out. Woo.